Does he? But he, he, he's got leaving less. As it is, Jez has the nuts. Yes, for newcomers to the poker world, often when a player has been, the bluff has been called, the next move is to <coughs> pretend as if you've got a big decision <laughs> before doing what you knew you were going to do in the first place, which was to throw them away. <laughs> this gives two things. It doesn't give away the fact you had a bad hand, and also it gives you television show, exposure. <laughs> Isis? Isis. Don't no, show them. Bullets. Oh, he should. Oh, he, he, hasn't. he wanted to, didn't he? It's all time, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Jess Bailey over the 200,000 mark again. And Ian Woodley down at the bottom. 28% of hands played. He just can't really get going, can he, at all tonight? He can't, but he's, he's a bit like a leech, isn't he? He's just, he's just hanging on. I mean, uh, this is a man who has no give up in him. So five left, but the blinds ever so high. Doesn't seem like there's enough room at the table for five. Not at 15,000 around. Somebody's going to have to go. There could be some volatile action with those two cards. 20. 20,000, only double the bet at this stage. But uh, respect given around to the blinds. And Woodley, who's in an all-or-nothing spot himself, can't get a hand. Come on in. All in. Oh. Oh. Call. Oh. Called. There was the problem. Pair of eights. Not marvellous. He's run into a bigger pair. We'll switch it after. Yeah, it just uh, it pretty much had to happen, didn't it? John uh, Shaw hoping to find Houston with two overcards, but as it is, the higher pair has left him in desperate straits, and there was not much between these two in chip-wise, so uh, I'm not sure who's all in, but this is a very decisive pot for both of them. Sean needing the eight. He hasn't hit it yet. A couple of cards could make him a straight. Turning River, Houston very strong. That ace changes nothing. River to come. Only the eight now. And that seven would have been nice on the turn, but two queens holding up. And uh, the snowmen going downtown. They're going to count them up. Uh, we, may have, we may have just lost a player. If John Shaw had less chips than John Houston, he'll be outside. I've got a feeling he might just be there. 10,000 left. Well, that is a wing and a prayer. Yes. Houston now looking a lot more comfortable. Woodley still floundering. Not beached completely, but certainly not doing much, and it's really... It's time to go. Yeah, Certainly time to put put the 10,000 in on the next hand, I would imagine. <coughs> John Shaw, winner of a televised poker tournament early last year, now finds himself in a situation, Steve, where he, he has to double through twice just, just to have a short stack. Because double three through four times to really make it worthwhile here. All right. Come on, one here. And uh, he's, he's also in the big blind here, which uh, is almost uh, sort of making matters worse. I think it's going to expedite the situation a little bit. <laughs> he doesn't have to look at his cards. He's all in for the big blind, as John Shaw from Dunfermline. They really you shouldn't look at these. There's no point in looking. Have a bit of fun turning them over at the end. <laughs> so. Let everybody else see them, but don't look at them yourself. <laughs> don't look at them, John. I mean, you can't really blame Shaw for the way that last hand played out, can you, Steve? Uh, pocket eights. Looked very strong at that stage. Everybody call. <coughs> well, he's had a look. Oh, he might quite like those. Considering he's only got one hand, that's not two bad cards, really. Is that a raise from <coughs> Broadhurst, or was that just five blue chips adding up to ten? Ten. Yeah, I think oh, he's just was. called it. 
and uh, John Houston. This looks more. No. Cool. Says he will try and take Shaw out as well. So we're three way here, but there's a side pot now between Houston and Dave Broadhurst. Well, the, the queen is live. <laughs> Oh, John Shaw's card. Sorry, I got them mixed up. I thought he had Jack-10. I was looking at the wrong people. Amazingly, at this stage, John Shaw's queen is the best hand. So there is a side pot between Houston and Broadhurst, and John Houston has the best hand now with a pair of sixes. <laughs> Broadhurst gets fruity here. Yeah, he could knock Houston out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Check. Check. I think they'd be checking this down. Yeah, John Shaw needs now. a queen. And that has made a full house for Houston. I'll check. 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 Full house. <laughs> Showdown. Okay. Full yeah. house takes not only the pot, but it takes John Shaw out of this tournament. And uh, the damage was done the last hand. <laughs> but with that, party poker ace champion John Shaw out in fifth. Well, they're bunching up at the top to some degree, apart from Ian Woodley, who sadly has not got off the ground this evening. Jess Bailey still out in front with 220. Woodley, the tightest player at the table, but uh, that seems to be due to the cards he's been dealt, Steve. And uh, I mean, he's hung on this far. How much longer before he has to move? The blind's still five and 10,000. There's just one big blind this hand. Uh, does Ian basically have to consider any face card at this stage? Well, he certainly hasn't got much room for maneuver, and should he have some good cards it's whether he wants to put all his chips in in one go and you would think that he's very close to that the rest of the lads have got a bit more play in them houston and broadhurst side by side here button and big blind and, uh, houston just looking at the flop for or letting broadhurst look at it cheaply and he's picked up a pair decision now for Broadhurst. It's not easy to hit the flop. He's hit it. The other guy hasn't. He's asking the question, has he got an eight or a six? Well, he could have been forgiven for not putting money in there. John Houston's looking very focused all of a sudden. Seems like the kind of man who's ready to seal the deal here. My name is John Texas Houston. I've been playing poker 20 years. I'm not going to be bullied and I'm going to try and go out and win it in, uh, in style. I want to show uh, show the people uh, the way poker can be played. I'm all right, Mickey, if you watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need it. <coughs> well, after the next two hands, Woodley will have 41, and uh, he probably reckons that's he can go that low sure. and still be okay. He'll be able to put the players to a serious decision with the 40,000. <laughs> worst comes to worst. <laughs> Jez Bailey has picked up everything on, I want look available on. <coughs> so far this evening. And is a raise coming? He's just called a chance to perhaps put some pressure on. He's obviously got rubbish. Yes, he has. <coughs> And also, one of his rubbish is already owned by the other player. So if an eight comes, not good news. Check. Check. Oh, this would be a brave bet, wouldn't it? Oh, it sure would. And nick a few chip chips, though, wouldn't it? I mean, that's 20,000 in there. It's 20,000 to nick. Check. And there's the heart. Giving Woodley a flush draw. Bailey, second pair. 